This morning I would like to go through a couple of verses in Psalm 46. And it has some of the most popular verses uh, ever to be written in Scripture, known by man. And one of those verses is verse 10. But we will start off in verse 1 where it says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, he says this. He gives us this statement first. He says, he says, because God is ever present and he's ever helping us, he says, okay, okay, he says, listen, he says, I'm always here. I'll, I'll never, ever leave. I'll, I'll never forsake you. I'll, I'll never fail you. I'm always alive. I'm, I'm always with you. I'm always going to help you. He says, you can be my, you can be, you can use me as a refuge, a strong tower. You can hide where I am and I will be your strength. He says, I'm ever present. There's not a moment that you go when, when, when this isn't true. And then he comes to verse two. He says, therefore, because of this, we will not fear though the earth give away and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with surging he says he says listen he says listen even if your life is fading away and, and everything around you is crumbling to the ground and, and nothing seems to be happening Nothing seems to be working. He says, no, it's okay because I am your ever-present help. He says, don't fear even if the earth give away. Even if everything seems to be falling around your feet. And it seems like you're just standing on the edge. And soon you're just going to fall along with the earth. He says, no, 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 no. Wait. He says, I am your strength and I am your refuge and, and I am always here. He says, even if the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, he says, even if those big structured things in your life, even if those things you thought were big and mighty come crashing down all around you deep into the seas, he says, no, 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 those things aren't your strength. Those things aren't your refuge. He says those mountains that you put your trust in, no, those aren't your refuge. They never were. He says, I am your strength, refuge, shelter, redeemer, sustainer, your lover, your holder, your peace, your grace, your mercy, your help in present times. He says, I am the Lord your God. He says, even if everything you thought was holding you up comes crashing down, it's okay because I will never fail you. You know, sometimes I think God brings us to this place where sometimes everything is crashing in around us and everything we thought we trusted comes falling into the sea. And he says, I brought you here for a reason. So you put your trust in me. Sometimes we don't know what to do, but God says, I brought you here so you can put your trust in me, so that you can come to me, so that you can love me, so that you can know that I am faithful, so that you can know that you can trust me, so that we can go even farther. Because if you trust in me, you can do anything. If you know that I am your God, you can go anywhere and you can do anything and nothing's going to stop you and nothing's going to hinder you because God is greater. But he says, if you keep trusting in this earth, in that mountain, you'll never go far because it will always fail you. The earth will always fall in to, into itself and the mountains will always fall into the sea, but your God will never fail you. Your God will never leave you. Listen, we come to verse 10. God says, be still. What? How can he say that? That, that just seems... That seems crazy to me when everything, when, when life seems to be going crazy, when everything's falling down and there's just chaos, when the seas are, are rough and the storms are blowing. He says, be still 
In other words, he says, wait, stop for a minute. Stop moving. Stop being frantic. Stop your anxieties. Stop thinking. Stop, stop, stop. And be still. And do what? What does he say? Does he say, find all your resources? Does he say, go to the bank and check your money? Does he say, buy stocks? Does he say, what does he say? Does he say, go to your friends, go to your family? What does he say? He says, no, stop and know that I am the Lord. He says, if you know that I am the Lord and, and if you know my truth, then, then there's nothing to fear. He says, you, you gotta stop for a minute, child. He says, I know that it looks rough, but if you keep freaking out, if you keep running around, you're never gonna, you're never gonna see what I'm doing. He says, just stop, stop where you are. Stop thinking, stop trying, rely on me. All you have to do is stop and know that I am God. What does that mean? What does that mean? He says, know that I am God. Know that I am sovereign. Know that I am in control. Nothing can happen apart from me. Not even a sparrow can fall in the deepest of rainforests without me knowing it. Not even a hair can turn from black to white without him knowing. And he says, aren't you worth more than many sparrows to me? He says, you are my most precious creation. He says, don't you worry. He says, just be still and know that I am God. And when you do that, you're going to see a great peace, a great calming come over your life. As you, wa as you watch God work, work for you, as you watch God take you from the shadow of the valley of death and, and take you into the, the brightness of his kingdom and the safety of his towers, under the safety of his feathers, he says, he'll take you. God is an ever-present help in times of need. And if you're struggling today, if you feel like this is you, God says, be still and just know that I am God. That's all it takes. It's, it's simple. You don't have to do anything. You just have to be still and know who's in control. Know who is sovereign. Know who has everything in his hands. Be still 